Hello there, James here from Eula Users and tonight I have received my uh, update for Yola Phone Sailfish OS um, version 1.0.7.16 which is called something I, I don't even pretend to pronounce so um, as, as, as usual a, a lake name in, uh, in Finland and the first thing you notice uh, apart from the date that you saw just now is the 4G that is enabled now <clears throat> the 4G LTE is now enabled and you can easily make calls with it uh, with, with no problem at all uh, the second thing is uh, if you open the um, the notification area from the bottom of the screen you have now Facebook notifications they're not pushed like with the other operating systems but you can just manually update them or uh, set them to update themselves in like for example every every 15 minutes or every 30 minutes and um, yeah I just rather update them manually when I want uh, so they they work okay but not with everything like for example if I have uh, the post in a group it won't show it says open Facebook so there's no see it just says open Facebook because these notifications are coming from a group not a normal post but if I have uh, let's say one of my personal notifications which are indeed in my profile like this one it opens the photo that the, the guy liked and the comments are there and you can just hold down the comment and like or unlike the comments as you can see you can just release to like or release to unlike and um, that's pretty much it for the Facebook uh, the next thing is folders in uh, the app drawer so as you can see I have no folders here but the next one I have three folders so the folders are actually rather interesting because uh, they have a number on them that allow you to know uh, how many how many applications are actually in the folder so when you open the folder you have your application I have my games here for example or my Google services which many of you don't actually like and will curse me for that and uh, my bank applications and uh, it's, it's actually fully customizable the folder shape and the, the name you can just tap on it and rename the folder or tap on the folder icon to uh, change the shape of the folder on anything you want it's actually quite interesting nice colors and everything and it, it was really necessary to just cut the amount of uh, pages that are actually going down and down and it was just you know not worth it the next thing is CalDAV so now it is actually integrated into the phone it was the, the most I think highly anticipated uh, stuff or features that many many people wanted to have on Yolo phone so if you just add account you can see CalDAV there or whatever it's pronounced I don't even use it you can just go and you have Yahoo you have um, Frooks I've never heard of it you have Memo2 you have General CalDAV so whatever you need and then um, you have a little bit of change here like for example general mail is now indicated green uh, it wasn't and then YOLO icon is actually uh, blue now blue and white the lighting is not suitable now but you know it's almost midnight and I'm shooting this uh, another thing that is the two-way uh, sync contacts for Google so you can just uh, you know if, if you if you go to accounts and open one Google account you can see that contacts sync to device only or two-way so you can sync, sync from your device uh, to Google and from Google to your device from your Gmail which is very very handy just save that close um, there's a little bit of change in the look, looks of the, the uh, covers, application covers. As you can see, they are a little bit more transparent than before, and according to the change log, they are a little bit more rounded around the edges. But uh, I can't see that because I have this contrasty uh, ambience at the moment. 
So another change is in the phone when you can see like for example here is my friend's personal phone or some people are just have one number but if they have more it's gonna specify the number for me like is it mobile is it phone I'm sorry is it home is it personal or whatever it is work or whatever another uh, change would be browser tabs so if I open the browser we are gonna have some live tabs according to the uh, I haven't tested it actually I, this is my first time testing this let's just open your users oh sorry I forgot to add another let me open a new tab Yola just now two tabs and if I go here it's just there and if I open a, an article here and then leave it go back to Yola's website it, it lagged a little bit but it was only a few milliseconds then go back here uh, sorry here it's actually there so uh, it won't close them anymore should be a good sign I guess uh, then it's the lock screen personalization so you can just go to system settings shortcuts and you can remove or add any shortcut you want so I have Mitakuli here or whatever it is pronounced I'm not really good in Finnish so I can just launch Mitakuli right from the lock screen pretty easy then what we have is uh, Chinese hand uh, handwriting recognition so I, I've already enabled it from the settings and I am gonna change to Chinese you know I, I don't know I don't know anything about Mandarin Cantonese or any other Chinese languages uh, but you know you can just pretend to write something and oh this is the wrong place here you can just pretend to write something and it will actually recognize something from your handwriting I mean I have no idea how to write this stuff but it actually works as you can see and then you can simply just change back to English and close this next what we have is um, browser upload so I haven't been testing this for a long time now but uh, let's just see if like for example I can uh, I can upload a photo to um, on a comment let's just go to my own page I guess it's better not even sure if it's gonna work but let's just try right I can just delete anything that I post later on right so I yeah you can exactly that is nice upload file uh, images and then I can just simply select an image and upload well let's just not do that it works obviously then it is um, the uh, the change in in the settings menu system in here you have uh, selfish up selfish OS updates so now instead of going to about product and uh, searching for updates right there you have this selfish OS update here and simply click on it I'm sorry tap on it and then you can just check for updates right here and this is quite nice and then there is uh, some uh, features UI features added let me just uh, send a message to myself here you know if you if, uh, if I tap on this you know it, it has a photo here so um, it tricks me to tap because some people they're if they're new to sailfish they don't know that they have to do this from the bottom of the screen and then tap on the notification they see the picture and then they want to tap on it but when 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 you do it gives you this hint that hey just do this and then it says hello that simple uh, what else do we have 
Oh, now this is a, this is quite a good one. Now we have the uh, Arabic, Persian, and I think Urdu uh, font supports, uh, which are actually written from uh, right to left instead of left to right. In the change log, it only says Arabic, but I have noticed that it it supports Persian as well. I'm not sure about Urdu, but they are roughly the same. They have. An, a tiny bit of difference but it's no, it's no big deal but uh, I, I can just go to let's say calendar I have one event event here in my language so it, it supports completely everything every single uh, character in Farsi or Arabic or Urdu is supported at the moment so this is really really handy because you know for for, for us people for us foreigners it had to get a little bit of getting used to. The next feature is that you can actually search in the media player. So I search Master of Puppets and then I have my ringtone. Or whatever song you have in your phone that you, that you might want to search. That is pretty much it guys, thank you so much for watching, make sure to subscribe if you want to uh, watch more YOLO videos, YOLO related videos, and uh, I'll see you next time.